praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. Well, the Lord has spoken with me. Uh, the Lord spoke with me today. Well, uh, about the meeting that's coming up in Mombasa. And the Lord already took me to Mombasa. I saw myself arrive. I've lived to see that day already. A lot of people, a lot of people at the airport and many other places. A lot of people had come to hear this mighty message of the Lord on the entry of the church and the coming of the Messiah. So you see a lot of people on the roads and everywhere. So Mombasa is going to be a very historic time. Uh, this, this this is a moment of refreshment again for Mombasa. After many, many years, the Lord is going to bring forth a big revival into the Church of Christ in Mombasa. It will be a moment of redirecting the Church back to righteousness again. It will be a moment for reproving the Church, the Christian walk again. Jehovah Elion the Lord Most High. He has already taken me to Mombasa. I have seen myself arrive. There were a lot of people. There was a situation. Passing was difficult. What people have come to hear the beautiful, powerful, holy oracles of the Lord at this hour. And this now becomes the last conference I have before. The Lord again takes me to other nations, beginning with Italy. But I can see that Jehovah El Ohim, El Ohim, is bringing me to Mombasa. Today he took me to Mombasa. I live to see already that day. When I've arrived there, I have seen the hall in Bamburi, the church in Bamburi. I saw already. The Lord took me. I saw the chairs, the one part which did not have chairs where they need to put more chairs, and so forth. Everything I walked around there. But now I have even gone there on the day the material day of arrival, when now the Lord has arrived me there. I, I have arrived there. I see a lot of people there that came uh, to hear the powerful, the holy oracles of the Lord for this hour. So that means this mission is on. All the heavenly delegation at this hour is now trained, is now all focused on Mombasa. So Mombasa is going to hear about this very powerful visitation regarding the entry of the church into heaven. This is the ultimate, the very purpose for which salvation came to man. That one day, the church may be able to enter into the everlasting kingdom of El Olam, the everlasting God. And there will be no more pain, at that point, when the church enters heaven, no more sorrows, no more worries, no more disease, no more fear, depression, oppression, no more divorces. Now, all these afflictions that the church has suffered on the earth here, there will be no more. There will be eternal peace with God for those that will prepare in righteousness. And that's why I have seen myself coming to Mombasa to decree forth the oracles of the Lord regarding the hour and the entry of the church. Yesterday he took me into heaven and showed me the storehouse of all the water that he has been using to water the earth ever since creation. And how he releases the water. Tremendous, tremendous authority of the Lord. So we are living in such times. He has already arrived in Mombasa. Today he arrived me there. I arrived. I arrived in Mombasa. I came down. I walked. People came to receive me there. And then we went. They sat down to hear the oracles of the Lord. A beautiful, refreshing moment for the church. Refreshing times for the pulpit. This is the moment to behold. This is the hour for the church. This is the time when all the nations are looking for solutions. 
We have terrorism across the earth. So people are running up and down looking for solutions on that. Cancer diseases, all manner of diseases. People are looking for solutions. Unemployment, famines, all kinds of afflictions are upon man. Different situations in different countries. New governments are coming onto countries. Sometimes they're wondering, what is this? How is this going? So this is the hour when the world is looking for answers, for solutions. And yet how beautiful it is to sit and listen now to the oracles of the Lord regarding the hour. I have seen the Messiah coming for the church, the holy and glorious church. I saw her enter into the glorious kingdom of Jehovah, my God. May those who have ears prepare in repentance, maintain a daily life of righteousness, watch your life that the Holy Spirit may help you to sustain holiness and righteousness. Nobody knows the day or the hour, but the Lord for sure, yes, will come. And for those that will be prepared, that had been steadfast, to holiness, he will take them, they will enter Shalom.